This is Dr. David Shine, and welcome to Business Law 101. Folks, illegality, we're going to do this relatively quickly because this is pretty straightforward. You can't have a valid contract if it's for an illegal purpose. We're going to talk about a couple nuances around this, but it's really not that difficult a topic and it's not a difficult uh, chapter. So let's take a quick look at chapter 17 on illegality. And one of the things is that gambling, unless it is state sanctioned, is not legal. So if you get into a deal and you make a deal with somebody and it's an illegal gambling deal, the example I usually use that's parallel to this case in the beginning of this chapter is you go to a Super Bowl and a lot of Super Bowl parties have a pool and you put dollars on different boxes and then whoever wins each quarter and then on the game. Fairly complex deal, but the point is, say you get to the end of the evening, you think you're the big winner, you're the closest one to the, the final score, and you go and you find out that the host has scooped up all the money and gone home and everybody else is just left sucking wind and you cannot go to court and say, that person stole my gambling money because the whole deal was illegal. So that's a simple idea, but it's the basic idea of this thing. And so it's the purpose of the contract and it's gonna vary from state to state. Uh, keep in mind that these contracts are designed to protect uh, uh, the public at large. It says the contract is induced by fraud or duress that's not gonna be a contract that's gonna be enforceable. Now, this is a term I, I wanna highlight because I don't want you to worry about it. Locus potentiae, potentiae. Uh, and um, this term in all my years of law practice, I've been a licensed attorney over 42 years, I have never seen this term except in this textbook. So um, it is not on any quiz or exam as far as I know. We try not to put stupid stuff in there. So it's, uh, it's a pretty interesting uh, deal. But it says, basically, if you get into an illegal contract, you maybe put some money down, you realize it's illegal, or you say, you know what, this is too strange, I want out. The court might allow them to get their deposit back or to get out of the deal, but again, won't enforce the deal forward. So that's a little dicey. This is Dr. David D. Shine for Business Law 101. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite platform.